Are we live? Are we live? Welcome to the WellTravel.com Beer Garden for another beer review. I am your host, Hamp Tanner, and to my right, <coughs> Tribe Called Quest. I lost my wallet in El Segundo. Would be Ed Hall. I've never even been to El Segundo. Next, on my left, turn face the camera with that Porky Pig shirt. That's the dumbest looking shirt I've ever seen. Stock boy from Piggly <laughs> Wiggly. The new guy. Ni hao. <laughs> you said You're that You're getting well. worse and worse. What? Okay. And behind the camera, our producer, director, filmmaker, and best girl grip on the wheels of steel is the lovely and talented Sarah. Anyone? Can't find this app. Nowhere. <laughs> App available for free, online, except for the new guy who can't find it. It's really a lot of fun. I bet it is. All right. Does anybody, put, your, put in the comments if you want us to if kill this If you know app. what app this is, let me know what it is. <laughs> but there's a million DJs. All right, today ones. we're doing something new here on the WellTravel.com Beer Garden Show. We are, <laughs> we are passing Excuse gas. Excuse me. We're going to review a beer that we've not done any research on. We don't know what the douchers scored it. We don't know what the bros scored it. It's from Stone Brewing Company in Escondido, California. This is their Imperial Russian Stout. Hey, is it going to be like, you better like this beer. If you don't like this beer, it's your fault. Yeah, don't drink it. We don't know what kind of attitude. We're not even going to read the label. We're going to pour and drink. It's got that... Pinocchio devil you got on your elbow. You got oh, oh insane clown posse el elbow. Your little boy liked that, didn't he? Yeah, he did like <laughs> he it, did. bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. Ed's biased against these SoCal dudes. So let's see if this Russian stout can overcome that bias. Oh, Almost. No, nice, oh, nice. That was a fail. <laughs> yeah, I deserve that. <laughs> good, I deserve that. Just like Toyota. Fails every now and then. Fails. Pour. 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 Said serve at cellar temperatures. More. You've had it. Don't you think you've had enough? Ooh, it's Not dark. yet. I'm still driving. Okay. Thick Pretty dark bad. beer. Yeah. I got too much head. Anymore. No, you didn't. Look. Look at his. Quit being years. such a little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> You're ben, like Ding was bitch. right. He's talking about you. Ding. Not He's the bitch. Yeah. He makes up for three bitches. Three blind bitches. I don't like this uh, stone brewing because they're all like, hey, you better like it. They're probably USC fans. No doubt. Yeah. No. You don't think no. they're San Diego State Aztec fans? No, they're USC fans. Good Come luck. on. Uh, I'm not, no. Dude. All right, that's mine, Dan. Good luck. On, if you want to drink after me, go ahead. Uh, never luck. mind. Good luck you on that. that lip fungus <laughs> oh, boy, I can't get rid of this flu. <laughs> He's got a lip fungus. <laughs> oh, I've had yeah. this cough forever. <sighs> Do you get to right. read? I'm saving up. For, no, no, we got nothing to read. I want to read the bottle. No. The bottle's full of No, jargon. wrong. Next. Wrong. This is this is what we call an unbiased. Well, he's biased. You and I are untainted. We're we're going into this as okay. virginal okay. as the driven snow. We have no bias on what the douchers said, what the bros said, what the back of the bottle's corny shtick is. You must don't even read it. Just, just drink it. Just look at it. Fondle it. Balls. Smell it and drink. Where's it. your app for that? Is this wine show? I'm working on one. Not a wine show. Smells pretty good after you get past that sweaty jock strap smell. Hmm. Boy, almost, that one almost came up. <laughs> That's good. You guys smell that locker room in there? <laughs> Seriously. Hmm. Smells like beer. From do, you know, do you know who shared, whose locker was right next to mine in the Naval Academy football locker room for one whole year? Wait a minute, hold on. Melissa Etheridge. Didn't know she was there. Napoleon McCallum, right next to me. 
Napoleon Dynamite? Not him. He was a tetherball player. Mm-hmm. What would he's he be good. doing in the football line? I don't know. Napoleon McCallum. Did you used to go like creep into his locker after you got done this playing? what it smelled like. And fish out his jock and be like, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's coming. Hey, he's coming. <laughs> no, but what was great about Napoleon McCallum is this is when he was a senior, and every every day after practice, somebody from the Baltimore Sun or the Washington Post would be there to interview Napoleon, and I'd be next to him listening. And he was always an interesting interview because he would always <laughs> – Relate things to Captain Kirk and Star Trek leadership. That's Napoleon like McCallum yeah. was a big fan of Star Trek and Captain Kirk as a leader. I'm a big fan of Captain Crunch. I was a big fan of Nat McCallum. Didn't sniff his jock. Never did that. Right. He was in the back in the interviews with that rainbow wig and that John 316 sign. When Which I could you, find it. When he could find it. All right. How about... Uh, Tip of the cap, I'm going to do it again since you guys don't have any friends. Uh, except for immediate family. Hello. Hello. I was looking at my wheel. Phone company? You passed out? <laughs> you just passed out. Where are we? You flatlined. Uh, tip of the cap to Cat Dossie, who does not miss a single show. She's out of Natchez. Out of Natchez, living up in... Uh, Charleston on a bond. That's a relative. It's irrelevant? That's a relative. Relative to what? Your wife. Relative to what? Your wife. That's his sister. That's not my wife. Well, it's your wife's relative. I don't even know. You go back to sleep. I don't even know what he's talking about. Ain't that about your sister in law? I don't don't know if it's a sister in law. Mind your own damn business, mister. (laughs) I'll fly across this table. I've done it before. Anyway, <sighs> what was that? Can you that, do that? That again? wasn't even wet. Hey, if you're watching this, rewind your camera. I mean, you rewind the video about 10 seconds to see that thing again. That was awful. <laughs> That's terrible. This was my idea. There was no sound on that one. It was this. It was silent. Pressure's on. Yeah. Man, you're getting good at that. He has practice. He seriously worked on his technique. I used to be good at it. Now I'm just terrible. That was that was the worst yet. I need a wood block. I, I <laughs> wish we could go back and add all 26 ups, eight episodes. How many? What episode number is this? 27? 427. All 27,000 episodes and find his worst tip of the cap. That was it. I promise you. I like this beer, but it's got it's definitely got a sweaty sock smell going on. I can't do I can't even do that sound anymore. You you've got I think good. stouts in general have that sweaty ball sack smell. You would know. <laughs> Chevette balls. <laughs> like Napoleon jock strap <laughs> smell. Balls. But Hamp's so familiar with. Mm. <laughs> can't something. believe you never got caught. There's something unsavory <laughs> about the smell of this beer. I think this beer is okay. Yeah, it's not bad. The taste like is it. good. The taste is real good. You, are they overcoming your SoCal bias? Are they o- overcoming your Reggie Bush bias? Um, I still don't like their marketing shtick because I don't There's like. There's nothing them. really going on with this one. Though. I don't like them all up in my grill. You know what I'm saying? I do. I do. But I don't think they, this one's all up. In it, you used to live in SoCal, so you would oh, be yeah. one of those people. I was an interloper for three years in San Diego. You know what? He wore a big old windbroom mustache when he was out there. Handlebar. <laughs> like Raleigh fingers. 